Hey, what's going on guys? It's Don, and uh, tonight it's Saturday night, late night. You know what I do Saturday night, late night. I get bored, I jump in my simulator, and I decide to let you guys come with me while I do a completely unscripted, unedited, and unplanned raw live stream. And tonight it's going to be... Warplanes, WW1, WW1 Warfighters, and man, I am having a ton of fun playing this now in my Pimax 8KX at 90 hertz, yeah, on a 2070 Super, if you can imagine that, um, and in my Yaw VR personal motion simulator, thanks to Space Monkey Telemetry Provider and uh, Sim Racing Studio working together to give full telemetry for the game. So, got to thank all all those guys for making all of this come together um especially home net games for providing me the key for uh, ww1 uh, war warplanes here uh really enjoying the game guys thank you so much and congratulations on your full launch on the oculus quest so all right um, i've already got everything set up so we're just gonna dive right in and uh, get to some uh world war one combat so let's go all right here we go so it looks like everything is streaming correctly. And as usual, um, if I even get anybody watching these streams, nobody watches my channel anymore. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, if you don't mind, smash subscribe, ring the bell. You guys know the drill. I'm starting to say that at the beginning because we're finally oh, getting close to 10,000. And I'd love to uh, hit that number before the end of this year. So, all right, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And hope everything doesn't crash on me. All right, there we go. All right, got hands. So, all right, we're already uh, ahead of the game here. So, um, I guess real quick, just to warm up, I'm going to go ahead and jump into quick play, make sure the simulator's working, make sure everything's working. It was before the stream, but you guys know when I do these, uh, <laughs> all hell breaks loose and everything breaks. So... Man, I love my AKX. Oh, I'm so glad. I've been I've been focusing on the 5K Super a lot, and and you know I'm loving that 180 hertz mode. But man, the sheer clarity of the AKX is what really really brings it home and and the fact that it's now running at 90 freaking hertz finally everything just seems as butter smooth as any of my other headsets so all right got the hotas set up for this one uh you can actually play it uh with the uh, motion controls specifically but obviously a uh, flight game in my y'all i always want to use my hotas so all right let's go Let's go. <laughs> See, I told you. Alrighty. Hold on. We got some uh, funkiness going on here. Alright. Ah, screw it. There we go. I'll just go ahead and play with the stick. Okay, I'm up. Woo! Now, let's get some light. I'll have to go in the next flight and see if I uh, forgot to enable the HOTAS. So, man, you know, I got to say, this is just a gorgeous freaking game. And, and I'm loving the fact that it is arcade style. Oh, I forgot I'm realistic. I can't do super, super tight turns like that. Um, kind of reminds me of an old game I used to play called Secret Weapons Over Normandy. I used to love that game. Is that one of mine, or is that one of theirs? I have you now! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god, that feeling! That feeling when you just start banking! Oh lord, I love it! And, you know, uh, aside from the game audio, um, if, if you guys will let me know in the chat, I, I, it is hot as hell in my studio tonight, so I am ha literally having to run a, a fan and my little wall air conditioner at full blast, so I do apologize if you guys are getting some really, really horrible buzz in the audio there. Um, I really hope you're not. Uh, this is so much harder to fly when I don't have my HOTAS. I can't keep her up. No, 
<laughs> that's what yeah uh, well it happens after you're 50 buddy uh, a little blue pill a little blue pill help with that um, you know not that I need it but you know oh there we go uh, I must have just turned towards the fan because I just felt that air hit me man I'll tell you what that is one thing I would love to add to my yaw is the smart plug option because uh, sim racing studio actually has that where you can put in an instant uh, on off fan and a smart plug and uh, you can actually have the wind effects because with a game like this that would be nuts in an open top plane He's up on him. I need some help with those bandits. Oh wait, that's my guy. Oh yeah, you're going down. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, and you know, I mean, even if you don't have a motion simulator, you gotta play this one, guys. Um, it works really good in the quest too. That's right. That's what she said. Oops. Damn it, I'm losing altitude. Wait, me? Oh. <laughs> That's because I'm not using my hot toss. Where are you at? I have you now. Enemy fighter eliminated. That's what I'm talking about. I love it when I finally turn and face the fan and I feel that wind in my face. It is a complete presence enhancer for this game. So whether it's on off, whether it's anything, just put a fan on you. I mean, obviously, if you're not playing this in a motion simulator, you're not going to turn away from your fan. And I mean, it, whoa, it just totally makes everything feel much, much cooler. Whoa! Come on, come on. Turn to face him, turn to face him. We are definitely not flying jets in DCS tonight. Uh. Yeah, it's got a dot on it, so I don't think that's mine. All right. Oh, do I not have a flare gun in this one? Normally you have a flare gun you can grab and I can shoot the balloons. Getting some speed now. Oh, no! No oh, I got bullet holes all over my wing. Yeah, that is not my balloon. So I'm going to take it out. Now, where's my flare gun? Oh, man, the scale of that is nice. I got you. 
speed up, get right on his ass. I'm also um, dual streaming tonight. I forgot to say that. So uh, hello to my Facebook audience. Um, I know you guys don't see me stream a lot. Whoa. All right, buddy. Come on. Let's double team him. Um, trying a little uh, plug-in for OBS. I'm not using Restream or, you know, anything like that. I'm actually just doing a uh, complete dual uh, stream straight from OBS tonight. So hopefully you guys are all getting good frame rates and... Oh, strafed your ass. Oh yeah, a long distance shot. Nice. <laughs> I want to know where my flare gun is. Normally it's just like right here, but I guess maybe I don't have it in practice. The hunt is going down. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, nice effect. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, you know, I got to address something, too, that I saw over on uh, Twitter today. Once again, my feed was filled with PC VR is dead. Uh, yeah, I beg to fucking differ. I've got one Sorry. On I have to drop an F-bomb every once in a while when I'm passionate about it. But you know what? Screw anybody. Screw anybody who says PC VR is dead. All right? I love my Quest 2. Don't get me wrong. But you ain't ever going to have an experience like this. Well, I can't say ever. All right. But right now or anytime soon, you are not going to have experiences like what I'm having in a, in a mobile VR headset. I'm sorry. That shit ain't happening. Probably gonna jump out of practice here because I want to enable my Hotas. Because man, this is starting to make my hands hurt having the death grip on these controllers. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump out of practice. There we go. All right, woo, flying me all over the place. And real quick, I will jump over and uh, check chat, see if you guys are even watching, if anybody's even here. So eh, it looks like I got a few people watching, I uh, think maybe one. So hey, one person who's watching my stream. Um, thank you for coming by tonight. Um, I hope everybody is liking what they're seeing. So uh, if anybody is just joining the stream, um, I am... Um, streaming this live to both YouTube and Facebook tonight. Um, and uh, we're playing uh, Warplanes WW1 Fighters. Uh, and I got to tell you, I am loving this game. I mean, this game is super, super fun, whether you're in a motion simulator or whether you are, you know, just playing it in a Quest or on one of your PC VR headsets. It's available for Oculus Store. It's available for Steam. I have all the links that you're going to need in the description, so please head over there and check it out. But, all right, we're going to go ahead and go back to the game, and I'm going to see if I can't enable my HOTAS, because uh, I really want to be able to fly with my HOTAS, um, not just my motion controllers here. There we go. X52 is set. Assigned controller. Alright, so let's see here. There we go. Alright. There we go. Alright, now we got Hotas. Okay, so, you know, um, the last couple of days that I've been playing this, I've just really kind of been playing a lot of the quick play, so I think I'm going to go ahead and jump in and start the campaign right here live tonight. So... Um, and yeah, we're going to fly the, uh, 
US and British and uh, let's see we're gonna go ahead and stick with realistic so I can have rolls and loops and takeoffs and landings however arcade man is super In super cool simplified the great war continues for the soldiers trapped down in the trenches, the pilots in their newfangled flying machines bring both newfangled. fear and hope. You are not only a pioneer, but also the last knight of the modern world. Oh my god, speaking of the last knight, I saw the green knight today, that movie sucked. Oh my god. Oh, I love this plane. Nice. Your first mission is to destroy enemy fighters. There Check we the go. in your cockpit if you need more information and guidance. Okay, and there's my flare gun like I was talking about. So it's kind of cool because you use a mixture here of the uh, the hand controls and of the HOTAS here. So very cool. Kind of hard to keep them in your hand, but I mean, obviously I'm just throttling forward. All my buttons are over here. So it, it you know, and the, the, these controllers stick to your hand. So it works. Raved your ass. Come on. I got you. I got you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah! <laughs> Woo! Love it. Incoming bandits. Man, I mean. Because this has a little bit more simplified graphics, the fact that I can actually run it at the full 90 hertz in the 8KX on my 2070 Super I'm going too slow. is it's going just to freaking beautiful. No, no, no. Okay, let's speed it up. I don't want to stall. Ooh, man, even with all the fans and the AC, I'm starting to sweat my ass off in here. All right, so are those my balloons or are those their balloons? Definitely don't want to hit those guy wires. I mean, oh, they, those are their balloons. All right, sweet. Nice! <laughs> Whoa, uh-oh. Something just happened with my tracking. Oh, I'm out of the plane. I can't keep her up. Yeah, well, I addressed that earlier, buddy. There's little blue pills for that. Um, crap. Hold on. I'm on the edge of stalling. Yes, there we go. We're back. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Hold on. No, no. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Ah, yes. All right, a little off center. Oh, I got a train. Off me. Okay, hold on. You guys are seeing all the warts and all, like I said. Uh, we're going to have to try to reset our view. There we go. Now we're good. So I don't know what happened there. Um, all of a sudden, I guess maybe my uh, motion compensation wigged out for a minute. Um, I am using Damage, a motion. Altitude. All right. All right. Level out. Level out. All right. Level out. Level out. These guys are on me like white on rice here. Skippy it is. I need to go faster or I'll stall out. Well, I'm going as fast as I can, bro. Whoa. 
don't hit the don't hit the guy wires. That will totally cause me to crash. Alright, let's take you out. I got bombs. Where the hell did those come from? All right, let's get this controller out of my hand. I think that might be why I'm resetting view. I need to go faster, or I'll stall out. I see. Okay. Somehow that took away my Hotas. Okay. So, definitely got a, a few little imperfections in the game. There we go. Like, how can I get back to maybe right here? Hold on. Sorry, guys. We want to make sure that we're using my Hotas here, not. Huh, so somehow I've lost my Hotas, so I guess we'll just go ahead and stick with the hand controllers here. Alright. Okay. And now is it back? No, now my Hotas is back. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. We'll, we'll take it. Finish this mission off. Let's take these guys out. Oh, I just barrel rolled right around him. That was awesome. Oh, and you guys saw that happen, too. That was freaking sweet. I just, there's something about the flight mechanic in this game being a little more simplified and a little more arcade, even though I've got it set on realistic here, that just feels freaking good. controller. Let's get my hand back on here. I guess I'm out of those. Shit. Okay. No! Oh, man. I couldn't turn it around in time. Okay. Well, this gives me a chance to reset view and uh, talk to you guys for a minute here. There we go. View is reset. And let's see if anybody's even watching the stream tonight. So, all right. Um, yeah, we do have a couple of people watching now. So we got Vector here. Thanks for streaming tonight. I wish I could stay and watch more, but I've got to wrap up my day. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, bro, no, no problem, man. I always leave these reposted. And Real Superman 217 as always, thank you, buddy, for dropping by my impromptu streams. I'm glad that to know that some people are getting the notifications here. And uh, over on Facebook, I don't ever stream to Facebook, so I can't even tell if anybody's watching. So um, hopefully you are. Um, and uh, all right, so it looks like we got a couple of people watching over on uh, YouTube, um, and I do appreciate you guys coming by. So uh, if you don't mind, man, share out the stream. Let, norm let, let a few more people know I'm doing this tonight. Um, really gotta get better about just, you know, 
doing these on a schedule maybe uh, but that just wouldn't be me you know you know me i just i just like do it when i do it so uh, i really want to get better about all that though i really do guys all right so enough blah 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 let's get back to the game here all right so let's see here activate my hotas is back perfect okay so we've already botched the first campaign mission so let's go ahead and jump back in and see if we can do that again and then oh my god i am dripping in sweat here oh lord it's hot in missouri right now um and i'm back in my studio which is off of the main in house the great war continues um, there we go and so there's no actual central the AC in here. Destroy enemy fighters. Check the manual in your cockpit if All you right. need more information and guidance. Well, maybe we shouldn't go after the blimps just yet. All right, let's stick on the fighters. And the clouds look good. The terrain looks good. The water looks good in this game. Everything looks freaking great. So like I said, if you like flying games, even if you don't have a motion simulator, guys, you've got to check this one out. I mean, you've got to check this game out. Um, even on the Quest 2, it looks and flies freaking beautiful. All right, where's the fighters? You know what? Screw it. Taking out balloons. Man, I can't wait for the yaw, too. I hate having to try to grab things inside the bowl here. Uh, now, did I just lose my hand? I did. Oh, my hand's way out there. And, um, don't know if anybody else got an email from the yaw team, but looks like they are still on track for their September launch. In fact, they are looking at possibly planning a uh, launch party here in the U.S. And they sent out uh, they sent out an email asking um, the yaw backers and uh, others like me um, some ideas on it. Nice as to where they'd like it. Um, a couple of the choices were like LA, San Diego, Las Vegas, and ironically, one of the choices for their launch party was actually my 51st birthday on September 17th. So, wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be an amazing birthday present to fly out and uh, see the Yaw 2 for the very first time? Because I think finally we won't have the problems that you guys may be seeing me here tonight like trying to grab that gun I just keep hitting the side of the bowl here Ooh, there we go. makes it a little difficult sometimes when you actually want to use the hand controls because of the way everything is like really tight in here and obviously the yaw 2 is a chair and oh my god, I just I can't wait. I have never been more excited about a VR peripheral in my entire life. Because, I mean, you know, I'm getting the y'all, like, literally broke my channel. This is probably, like, most of what you guys see these days. <laughs> because adding motion to VR with high field of view and high resolution like a Pimax headset gives you made all the difference in the world. Let's get that. Ah, come on. Get the gun. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah it was. Oh, okay. So definitely don't have unlimited refills on the uh 
flares there, but they are super effective for taking out the balloons. <laughs> nice. I'm coming around on you. It's going to be a bad day for you, son. Ah, uh, what did I tell you? Ha <laughs> ha! Mission complete. Yes. What? What? Or did I? Might have to jump in and turn the rumble down just a little bit. You know, I've talked about that in other y'all videos here, but the, the one thing that a lot of people don't think of when they think of the motion simulator here is the fact that it also gives you uh, rumble. I'm um, so, um, but sometimes if the rumble's too intense, it causes your headset to shake just a little bit. Um, what am I supposed to be doing here? Locate the airfield. Okay. Oh, do I gotta land? Okay. Locate the, the airfield, the position the plane on the axis of the runway, reduce speed, lower the plane gently. Okay, so I do I have to land to end my mission here. Alright, so airfield is this way. I think that's the airfield. I need to go faster, or I'll stall out. Okay, there's the runway. All right, let's swing it around here. Coming in way too fast. Maybe that's not the airfield. That sure didn't look like a runway. All right, let's take it up high. I'm see if stalling. we can find the airfield. Definitely no fancy heads-up displays and stuff like that in this in this one. I'm on the edge of stalling. I've been on the edge of stalling for years, brother. Stall my life, stall my channel. It's all good though. Hopefully things will change here pretty soon. I do really appreciate all you guys have been throwing me little donations every once in a while when I do these streams. And I'm not begging for one now, but man, I'm still... Whoa, what the hell? I'm still out of work. I cannot believe that I cannot find a freaking job to save my life. I need to go faster or I'll stall out. I couldn't even get a job as a damn water salesman. I wonder why my tracking is jumping all over the place. But no, I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm not going to sit here and cry in my beer. But hey, if any VR developers or, you know, game companies or hardware companies are watching this, uh, I'd really like to work for you. Uh, <laughs> ah. I need to go faster or I'll stall out. Oh, I wonder if my block, my lights are blocking one of my uh, lighthouse sensors. Damn it, I'm losing altitude. Damn it! Damn it, man! I'm losing altitude. I cannot push her any harder, Captain. I'm stalling. All right, well, you know what? You're going to have to stall, buddy, because I can't find the airfield. Where the hell am I supposed to land? I'm losing 
altitude. And how are you stalling? I got the throttle full forward here. Damn it! Okay. I cannot find this airstrip to save my life. It's a little hint. A little, little, little help. Anybody? do not see an airstrip. Unless that... Nope, that's a road. I'm stalling! Oh my lord, I'm sweating so much underneath this headset that my, I'm literally, it's dripping down the back of my neck. Cannot wait for summer to be over. I do not like heat. Okay, so obviously I cannot find the airstrip. Flying all over my plane here. So, yeah, I must be uh, losing sight of my lighthouse sensors. I forgot when I set up the stream and I do the green screen, sometimes my lights block the sensors, uh, or at least one of my sensors, and it causes this to happen. So, this doesn't normally happen if you are just playing the game. Um, this, this is definitely my setup here. So, is that an airstrip? Nope, that's not an airstrip. All right, you know what? Oh, hey, did it just restart me? No, it didn't. Okay. Oh, now I'm like totally out of the plane. Okay, so you know what? Maybe let's uh, just jump over, recenter my view, see if you guys are even still watching and how long we've been streaming for, and we might just call it a night make this a quick one I usually try to keep these streams about 45 minutes to an hour and yeah now it's not even letting me reset my view so all right guys I think we'll go ahead and jump over to chat real quick and uh, see what you guys might be talking about um, hey deadly B hi how you doing buddy um, so all right looks like yeah we've been going about 40 minutes tonight and I'm starting to have a few technical issues that are probably the way I've got my studio set up like I said um, don't know if you guys can see any of that if I go back over here no you can't but yeah see I got like lights right here and and there's a lighthouse sensor over here in one corner and a lighthouse sensor in the other corner and uh, it, it, it seems to be blocking one of the uh, one of the sensors and it's causing some wigginess here in the game. So, um, but as hot as it is and uh, the fact that I am literally sweating into my eyeballs right now, um, I think we are going to go ahead and cap it here, guys. This was a, a nice little test stream. Um, I hope everybody over on Facebook as well as uh, YouTube enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you want me to do more stuff like this. Obviously, I, I do these uh, sporadically and randomly. I'd like to be better about that. Um, I, I definitely would like to, um, you know, maybe start scheduling these out. There, take that chroma key off. Um, you know, and uh, let you guys come with me more often. Um, so, 
Anyway, with that, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cap it off for the night. Uh, this is Don. Thank you so much for watching uh, to the end of the stream if you did. Uh, if you just joined the stream, I'm sorry for cutting it out early. Uh, it's just too damn hot in my studio, and, uh, and I'm blocking one of my sensors and having some tracking issues that I need to fix. But uh, definitely love this game. Love all you guys. Uh, if this was your first time coming by, uh, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do. Please do me a solid, man. Smash subscribe and ring that bell. I know you guys hear that a lot, but I, I am literally getting, I'm, we're honing in on 10,000 subscribers and I, I would love for each and every one of you to, uh, come along with me every time I do something like this. And, uh, as far as content guys, I am going to try to get a little bit better, uh, at putting some more content out. I, I have really had a hard time of it. Uh, this year, as, as most of my regular viewers know, uh, with jobs and just shit and life and COVID and blah, blah, blah. So um, things will get better, but uh, stick with me and I will see you guys in the next one. I may actually stream more of this tomorrow, um, I'm do a more set up and polish stream. So please, if you watch tonight, tonight was the test stream. Uh, join me tomorrow. Uh, wife and kids are out of town. Got nothing better to do. And uh, Michael Van Versen, see ya as well. And see all of you guys. All right. Peace. I'm out.